happen, guys. A lot of you guys don't know how long my hair actually is. I got a lot of questions about that. It shit covers my nipples. We're about to go inside. We're here at the gym. You guys can't see us behind two big ass trees. I don't know, whatever. All right, so we're taking some Gorilla Mode. We're going Firefly Lemonade only today. So we got a scoop of Firefly Lemonade Nitric, a scoop of Firefly Lemonade Mode. And then we got the brand new flavor of Mode Energy, which is like the high stimulant pre-workout. So we're running that. We're gonna hit back, triceps. I'm gonna walk you through the exercises I do, why I do it. And I got some good news. My move to Houston is officially oh, on the 30th or the 31st. I move in in Houston. My parents, yeah, my parents, I'm a little kid, uh, are helping me move out of my apartment, my messy, disgusting fucking apartment that I really need to do laundry in. I don't think I've done laundry since I got signed by Anaka. Disgusting, saying out loud. I just have so many t-shirts that I like never have to rewear them. But I'm just gonna lock my whip up. Uh, yo, look how disgusting my shoes are from Rolling Loud. Absolutely cooked. Yo, little bro, they smell worse than you, dude. It's covering his head, he doesn't want to be in the video. All right, yeah, so we're gonna go into the gym, hit a quick lift. I'll probably throw some Tiger Balm on my arms. We got some fucking Florida shit. Look at this truck, dude. All right, just for reference, I'm 6'2". How the fuck do they get into that thing? You got like a step stool. Let me go inside, I'm gonna teach you guys uh, my back day or one of my back days. I usually rotate between two to three of them. Yeah, why I do each exercise, how many sets and reps, throwing a sick workout at it. But yeah, guys, like I said, Tiger Balm. Take some Tiger's Balm, rub in your Tiger's Balm. That's a lot, oh my God. I hope I don't, last time I was in here and I put Tiger's Balm on my arm, touched my wiener and burnt really bad, but. <laughs> Guys, I fucked up again. I put the Tiger's Balm all over my arms. I went pee, same thing happened again. Now my nuts, it feels like I have icy hot on my ball sack. Um, side note, uh, at Rolling Loud, Lil TJ now knows who the Jack Italian is. So we're in the mosh pit, right? Moshing, Lil TJ comes on and they're just like, who should I bring on stage? Who should I bring on stage? My brother and my homies were like, Jack Italian, put the Jack Italian on stage. And I guess a lot of you guys were at Rolling Loud. I met probably like three or 400 people who, uh, of you guys, it was fucking amazing. Took OD pictures of everybody, got to meet a bunch of people with Sid. So they start all screaming too, Jack Italian, put the Jack Italian on stage. Lil TJ looks at me, takes the microphone and goes, I don't even, who the fuck is that, man? And I'm just like, at that point, my, I'm like, ah, oh, shit, like, Lil TJ don't fuck with me. Lil TJ don't fuck with Italian. So moral of the story, Lil TJ don't fuck with Jack Italian or any Italian in general, but at least he knows who I am. All right, guys, so my first movement is like strict lat pull-in. So we're gonna take the easy curl bar or the V-rope. Either one, whichever one you feel the best. We're gonna do 12 reps. You wanna keep your butt out, chest up, bring your arms out and then bring straight in. So your arms have a slight bend. You wanna feel it all along your side. So when you're feeling it, you wanna feel right in here and then directly from there, we're gonna go straight into tricep extensions with the easy curl bar. You can do them straight up like that or you can lean and push overhead to represent more of a skull crusher. But yes, yeah, so we're doing 12 to 15 reps, three to five sets of each, super set it together. So then we can also use the V rope, like I'm gonna use for this set to show you guys. So your hand's gonna be underhand, pulling straight in this way. You wanna feel it all along your lats. It's gonna look like this. With a slight bend in the elbow, out. All right, so this next exercise, we're gonna focus on our upper back, rear delt, upper back, track area. Overhand grip, so later on, later on in the workout, we're gonna be doing dumbbell rows, which is obviously neutral grip. So we're gonna be doing plate loaded row, thumb grip. So you take your thumb out of the equation. You don't use your forearm. You're here. Then you switch arms. We can do single arm or two arm. 
12 to 15 reps, then we're gonna take both as like a drop set, super set type of thing. So we're gonna do two arms after single arm. Oh, I wish I had my belt. But then we got then we got V rope triceps. So there's two different ways to do the triceps. Extensions this way. You can flare your elbows out and go wide, or you can keep your elbows tight and pull down. Two different ways. It all depends on which one's more comfortable for you. I personally like pulling out like that. I feel like it isolates my triceps a little bit better. I decided to move to Houston. I feel like I needed that reset. I feel like I needed a reset in my life. I'll talk about that in a little bit, but I'll explain why moving, why moving for me, I think it's gonna be really beneficial. But catch you guys in the next exercise. All right, guys, so the next thing we're doing is close grip lat pull downs. Same thing, hook grip. It's gonna isolate, it's gonna take your forearm and bicep out of it, really help you isolate your lat. You wanna imagine your elbow is a lever and you're pulling with your elbow, you're not pulling with your hand as a grip. It's a hook to pull with your elbow. So it's gonna look like this. Get a full stretch in your lat. Lean slightly back and pull to the top of your chest. Look at a fat, bulked up Dorito bodybuilder fucking munchkin. I look gross right now. I look at myself in the mirror this morning after rolling loud. Slept like four hours a night, ate like shit, giant turkey legs, fucking. Bleh. I'm gonna throw up looking at myself. I gotta like hunch down. I already hit my head on this thing twice today. We're doing rows in the Smith machine on like an uh, elevated platform to help extend and row correctly. So we're gonna take our thumbs, put them on like the end of the knurling kind of thing, like halfway through our thumbs. I got ugly thumbs, but so then we pull up. Don't hit my head. Okay, good. Set your shoulders, set your back. Row in, set. belly button it's gonna help stretch lower part of your lats out and row you can do a little more vertically like I did where I'm standing almost here and pulling in or you can literally go straight up barbell row and pull more to your chest it's all about what you feel more comfortable doing and what part of your back you're trying to work you can also do underhand grip where your underhand Just like that, underhand grip. But three sets, 12 to 15 reps. Lightweight, slow and controlled. You wanna focus on getting a good contraction, a good stretch in your muscle. And I hope that my, body, my video doesn't get copyrighted for fucking black eyed peas. Throw back to like 2006, bro. out for like four days Friday Saturday Sunday or Monday didn't lift went to the beach went to rolling loud ate like shit and now I want to off myself no joke fucking Jeffrey Epstein myself Jesus Christ he did not kill himself don't cut that mad mad low-key he did not kill himself don't fall for that rumor fucking conspiracies ah oh, magic all right homies now we got dumbbell row single arm dumbbell row Rest your arm here, via rows. Slow and controlled, don't use heavy fucking weight. Yeah, can I row 125 pound dumbbells on the rack for a fucking set to 12? Yeah, is it good form? Absolutely the fuck not. So we're gonna take the weight, nice and slow, controlled. 
All right, so you literally want to pull like this. You don't want to pull straight up. You want to pull in front and back. In front and back. You see the engagement in my lat when I go down and up? This is your lat, this giant meaty piece of flesh. That's what makes you look like, what makes you not be able to fit through doors. If you want to be able to walk through doors, don't, don't hit back, but besides the point, that was a loud noise. All right, so this last exercise, take the two handles, sit down, come up, pull wide. All right, full stack, pull downs, pull apart your head. Literally doing 200 pounds, bro. If you're not doing lap pull downs with the same weight as your fifth grade math teacher, who ate a little bit too many Twinkies before they got banned, stop dropping the weights. Fuck, dude's deadlifting a plate and he's dropping it. Pussy. But yeah, if you're not fucking lap pull downing your fifth grade math teacher, I don't, then what are you doing, bro? So this is one of my favorite tricep exercises. Two cables, hands here, rotate out, back up, all the way out. Rotate your hand. I'll use later weight to show you guys proper form. Start your hands, hands start here, rotate out. Yo, Pierre, you wanna come out here? I'm sorry. You have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. and activity, yeah, Jeff Nippert, shout out Jeff Nippert, fucking gym bro scientist, gym bro idiot, collab, I just smushed a mosquito, I've never been bit by a mosquito because I'm Italian, Italians don't really get bit by mosquitoes, but uh, it sucks if you've been bit by a mosquito, I, I don't know what it feels like, you guys get those bumps and shit, but I, I, don't, I don't get that, but yeah, we're going to finish off with some chin ups, this thing is fucking wobbly, yo, look at that, Shit can't take the and go for it. All right, so Fat Boy Italian like doesn't hit abs. He only hits abs when he's like the shredded Italian, like actually is the Jack Italian. But I'm gonna give you guys one of my favorite ab exercises. So we're gonna get this like Bosu ball shit. Put your hands shoulder width apart. Set your knees. Roll out and up. It's like a, a ab activation plank. We can do like, you know, my abs gonna be sore from that shit. But uh, we can do uh, like three, three to five sets, 10 to 15 reps. If you're really good, you can do like this shit. I haven't done this since I was lean, so I don't know if I can do it, but. Oh, hell no. Nah. Nope, fat boy town, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> Maybe when I lose like 10 pounds, but uh, all right, I'm gonna catch you guys back outside. I'm done with my workout. And uh, I feel better than I did when I came here. What's up, guys? So we finished up an absolutely delicious back workout. Uh, yes, yeah, so I just want to talk about I just want to talk about my move real quick. So I move out. Today's Tuesday. 
I move my I move in on Friday to Houston. So tomorrow is my last day in Fort Myers. Uh, I have no idea what I'm gonna do, but it's fucking weird. Um, I think that it's gonna be really good. I'm gonna get a fresh reset on my life. I feel like everything's kind of been stagnant. I started TikTok. I started YouTube. That's helped me a lot, like break out of like my shell and like be comfortable and finally like have my dreams start to pay off all my hard work over the past four years, five years of literally trying to make content for fitness. I feel like now that it's finally happening, I can't say anything, but I'm grateful, but I need a, a reset. I need a fresh start where I have a clean apartment. I have a new environment. I have a new gym, new motivation and uh, moving is going to give that to me. I feel like I need like a new environment. Um, something that like, I've been in Fort Myers. Oh, there's a loud fucking truck with a dude with a little penis. Yeah, so I've been in Fort Myers for three, three and a half years at this point, And I just need, I need something new. I need something different. Um, I need something to, to re-motivate me and re-spark that fuel that I feel like I'm lacking. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna have a new apartment, a cleaner environment. I know myself, I get very messy. So a new minimalistic apartment with not a lot of shit is gonna make it a lot easier for me. Um, I also have no excuse to, to not post content. I'm gonna be at Alpha Lee Gym, I'm gonna be at Alpha Land, I'm gonna be at Corrupted Strength, a bunch of other areas, uh, gyms in the area. I'm gonna have a lot, of, a lot of things that I'm doing and a lot of people to meet up with. So hopefully my content will go to the next level, my life will go to the next level and I can bring you guys along for that journey. But yeah, um, shout out to Fort Myers for having me for the past three years. Thank you guys for joining me on the next chapter of my life. I hope you guys enjoyed this back. Oh, oh my God, how did I almost forget? Uh, we're in the mosh pits. My brother goes, yo, bag. And I'm like, yo, bag? What do you mean bag? So I reach down, I grab this bag, and I'm like, oh shit, there's 25 pre-rolled fucking L's in that bag. Thank you guys for tuning in to the next chapter of my life. I hope you guys enjoyed my workout. I hope you guys enjoyed me moving. Don't forget, code Italian on a knockout power and gorilla mode. Gorilla Mode Protein Powder coming out in August. They're getting three flavors, four flavors of glycerol, glycerol, a bunch more flavors of nitric and mode, restocks, all that shit. Terkesterone is coming back. I, it sold out in like two minutes, like triple the supply. So now we're getting 12 times the quantity of terkesterone. Mad updates, but hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, and I'll catch you in the next one.